Alright, yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I am actually, um, playing Madden! Uh, it's been a crazy week, and it doesn't get any less crazy for video game releases next week with the drop of Far Cry 4 and, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, which I will be picking up both of them. If you want to give Dragon Age In Inquisition a try, make sure you get EA Access. For some reason, I can't add a credit card to my account, so I can't get EA Access, um, but already... Just in the past few weeks, I have bought Halo, the Master Chief Collection, Sunset Overdrive, Lords of the Fallen, Alien Isolation, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'll be getting NBA and uh, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, both at around Black Friday. Uh, we still got those two games to come out. GTA uh, 5 for the Xbox One. I don't know if I'll get that as soon as it comes out, but that comes out. Um, I still got some other, I can't even remember, there's so many games that are coming out, there's still so many to go, uh, and I most likely will be picking up a PS4 this spring to bring, I'll, I'll be doing Madden, but the main thing I want to play is Bloodborne, uh, I love the Dark Souls series, and, um, I've loved what I've played of Florida Doesn't Fall in so far, uh, but it's, it's not the Dark Souls for me, um, but... Enough about my gaming and why Madden has taken a back seat. Let's finish up this Steelers collection. So I got a elite badge for 70k, which I think was pretty good. I pulled this Antonio Brown a long time ago, and so we can finish up this collection and get the Heath Miller. There's my 15k uh, Heath Miller and the Muttmaster Steelers collectible. We will uh, go collect that. This will. This, this is nine out of. I think this is my ninth one or something like that. Uh, Mutt Master, finish this bad boy up. Dun, dun, all the way right here. Oops, not the wrong. Steelers, Mutt Master. Click that. 17 out of 66. Getting there, playing this a little bit more. I'm trying to make a whole Patriots team ish type thing. Um, I'll show you guys. I'm not selling Primetime Mester, so he's stuck on the team because uh, I like the card. It's a pretty cool card, so I want to keep it, and so, yeah, he's staying on the team. LaFell, team of the week, is my wide receiver. I want the 89 uh, Edelman, but he's like 200k for an 89 overall receiver, and I'm just not paying that. So right now, most feared Steve Smith is my third wide receiver, and then Edelman and Welker. Uh, fullback, the best Patriots fullback that I know of in the game is James Devlin. If someone knows a better one, let me know, but uh, Michael Hamanawanui is the tight end. And so I'm just playing him at fullback. I'm using uh, Ridley, Blunt, Most Feared, and Vereen on the line. It's going to be the Captain Minkins. I'm working on that now. Uh, Sebastian Volmer. Nate Solders is a good left tackle. I'll be picking him up soon. Uh, the center and right guard are lacking. I'm going to have to do maybe a little research and remember who, what centers and right guards they may have had on the team in the past that may be halfway decent now. Uh, but I don't have a big rush to do that. Obviously, I'm going to get MVP uh, uh, Gronk for my tight end. I probably won't get rid of Casper, and I'll probably keep Gates as my third tight end just because I like Gates. Uh, but I'm just trying to get mostly uh, on the defense, um, Tlaib and Revis, obviously. I'm keeping Cromarty, not selling Cromarty, so he'll be just on the team. Uh, Ninkovic, I want the 88 overall Ninkovic, but... He's like 300k at this point, so I'm not buying him. Uh, Chandler Jones, team of the week. Uh, Will Fork and Kelly. I'm going to have to sit down and uh, probably do it on Friday at work. I'll, pray, I'll brainstorm, uh, think through any Patriots um, that I'm missing. Uh, if you guys know any, uh, leave it down in the comments of some that I could get that I'm missing. Uh, obviously, the new Dante Hightower who I'd probably play at left outside linebacker, depending on what overall he is at whichever side of these. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to run Don, two Dante Hightower, so this one will be gone. Um, and then um, I need a better right outside linebacker, but I'm not sure. Pick up any. Devin McCourty uh, is my free safety for now, uh, until I can get that flashback at re whenever that happens, like 10 years from now. <laughs> I'll be able to get that, because I'm going to use Ed Reed. Uh, my voice just cracks. Uh, Patrick Chung is the best strong safety um, that I can think of. I don't think there's a better strong safety that the Patriots have had. I might be wrong, but um, I think he's the best in the game. 
I'm using Marquette King still if it's really it's really a problem on the Patriots thing. I, I have Ryan Allen, but I don't really care about using that. Uh, none of these are Patriots. They're just my returning guys uh, other than Leon Washington. But Royal, since being kicked off the starting lineup, is now just a return guy. Trenton Holiday is my, one of my return guys every year. Uh, Goodwin, I like his Football Outsiders card, and then obviously Primetime Hester. Vereen is my third down running back, and uh, yeah, pretty much. Let's go take a look at the price of this Heath Miller, and then that'll do it for the video. Also, all Madden packs are available right now. I uh, might spend a little bit of money on this uh, game. Um, I try to make a purchase on my credit card once a month uh, at the stores, so I might just buy a $50, uh, $50 card. Um, because I'm just trying to, trying to build my credit up. So let's see here. Captains. Go Heath. Da, 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 Heath. Alright, so he is not worth that much. 79k, so that'll bring me back up over 90 or not 90, 900k. If you want to know, I sold the Mike Wallace and I sold the Cribs. I also sold um, Cam Chancellor, because I don't really need him if I'm doing the Patriots team, and I got a good price for him. Uh, I also sold uh, Flowers, and I sold Levante David. Is that it? Oh, I sold the Steve, Miz, Steve Smith and Deshaun Jackson. So that got me back up to where I am right at this moment. Uh, so I'm not doing too bad for coins. My team, obviously... Because I did those flashback openings, they're not what they were, not what it was, obviously. And uh, because if I didn't open up the flashbacks and I would have sold all the cards I did, I would have had like 2.2 mil. Uh, but it's whatever. Um, not really too concerned about my coins right now because honestly, when I finish Mutt Master, I'll have enough coins because I'll be able to sell that Sherman. So I'm going to put it up for that price. Because I highly doubt a bunch of people are looking to buy Heath Miller. But um, I got this Logan Minkins too, and I got the Vasquez for the Broncos and the Patriots. So that saves me 100k. I would be over a mil when this, um, when this, whatchamacallit, when this Minkins, or not Minkins, when the Miller sells. I'm going to keep the Minkins, but I am going to sell the Broncos reward probably. Who is it? I forget. Is it Welker? Might actually keep it is Welker. I might actually keep him maybe because I could use him on my All Patriots team, but I'll see. I don't know. Right now though, it would cost me the two elite badges, and that's it uh, to finish these because I have everything for these collections. See, I have the Vasquez. It would just take me the elite collection or the elite collectible, and then finishing the solos, which I'm working on the Patriots now. Don't know, I might finish up the Patriots today and then call it quits for this and play some Halo, but I don't know. Uh, but drop the video a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.